Hey Maker, I'm Angel with FleeceFun.com and today I am really excited to grant your wish. I am going to show you how to make this really fun Aladdin vest. And yes, if you're wishing it was in your size, odds are that it is because I have made it in sizes 2T all the way up through adult extra large. So there's a very good chance the size you're looking for I have for you. All right, for this project, you will need the following. For this project, you will need one and a half yards of fleece in red or rust, one package of double fold black bias tape, half a yard of red striped cloth, four black tassels, three yards of black ribbon or cording, heat and bond, sew or no sew depending on your preference, and black thread. All right, once you have all those items, it's time to get started. Best Aladdin Costume DIY, step one, assemble the pattern and cut out the pieces. Assemble the pattern and cut it down to the size that you want to make. There are a total of six pattern pieces. From the fleece on folded fabric, cut out the following. Two of the hood, two of the vest front, that should be two separate pieces, and four of the sleeve detail. Set that aside. Place the vest back on the fold and cut out one. Set that aside. Next, we need to prep the fabric for the front detail. Measure the heat and bond to make sure it's enough to cut out two of the details. Now, one thing you need to be aware of is for that striped cloth, we need to be careful when we cut it out. It needs to have the stripes going horizontally and not vertically, so pay attention to that. Following the package instructions, iron on to the wrong side of the striped fabric. Cut two from the section of the fabric that has heat and bond on it. I find using a rotary blade nice to keep crisp lines. All right, now that you have those things cut out, it's time to get started on making the vest. Step two, begin to sew Aladdin's vest 2019, starting with the hood. All seam allowances are half an inch unless otherwise stated. Take the two hood pieces, placing them right side together, sew from the top of the hood to the neckline. All right, looking good. Now, to finish off the hood, I chose to do some nice top stitching along the seams. I just felt like it added it and it added something to it and made it look nice. Totally optional. Again, it's one of those totally optional things. You don't have to do it, but it's nice if you have the time and the ability. Step three, sew the main part of the vest costume. Place the front pieces on top of the back piece, lining up the shoulder and side seams. With right sides together, pin the shoulder seams and sew together. Pin the side seams, sew together. Now, once in a while, I'm going to mention things that are nice to finish it, but not necessary. So if you're watching this video and we're coming up on midnight and you're just trying to get the costume done, hey, there are steps that you can skip to make things go a little faster. And this is one of those steps. While it's nice to have that bias tape around the armhole because it'll make the armhole not stretch out or um, do anything weird, it'll lay nicer, it's not absolutely necessary. So yeah, you can totally skip this step. But if it's a costume that you know you're going to wear a lot or use a lot, uh, you are going to want to finish off that armhole nicely. Use black bias tape to finish off the armholes of the vest. All right, looking good. Let's finish up the vest here. Let's add that hood to the vest. Step four, add the hood to Aladdin's vest. Center the hood seam with the back of the vest neck. With right sides together, pin the hood to the vest. Sew together. All right, looks good. Next step. Step five, add the sleeve details to Aladdin's costume. Again, this is a nice detail, but not absolutely necessary. If you're in a hurry, you can totally skip this step. Take two of the sleeve pieces and with right sides together, sew the curved edge. Clip the curves and turn right side out. Trim the excess and top stitch in black. Set 
center with the shoulder seam, pin, and then top stitch into place. Use the bias tape to hide the stitches. All right, now we're just going to finish off the vest and the hood edge just by turning that under. Step six, finish the edge of the vest and hoodie. Fold the front of the vest and rim of the hood under one inch, pin. Using a zigzag stitch and black thread, sew along the edge of the fabric to sew down the edge. Now, I'm gonna leave the bottom edge of my vest just raw. That is the beauty of fleece, you can do that. And this is one of those things, hey, yay, let's make things shorter and life easier. <laughs> but if you want to, you can of course turn that edge under or have bias tape on that edge if you wanna finish it off nicely. But uh, I don't know about you, I just wanna get this project finished and you know, get on with it. Step seven, add details to the front of Aladdin's vest. So we're going to add on those striped rectangles and a little bit of, um, depends on what you have, if it's like cording or ribbon or that sort of thing, just to kind of give the same look. Figure out the placement of the striped cloth. Iron on the fabric. Be mindful that you're ironing onto fleece. Keep the iron moving and make sure it's not up too high of a temperature or you will melt the fleece. If using sew on heat and bond, top stitch along the edge in a zigzag stitch or a decorative stitch. All right, now if you're worried about doing wonder under onto fleece, I have to tell you, I did it with the vest and it was fine. You just have to be careful to keep the iron moving and not press down too hard. Um, and also make sure that the iron isn't on a super, super high setting and you should be okay. If you are worried about it, you can put a press cloth in between the two. Um, I didn't have much success doing it with that method just because um, the wonder under needed, or the heat and bond I should say, needed the heat. Use the template to trace with washable marker or chalk below the rectangle. Now once you've traced that template, you're going to draw a loop on the striped cloth to simulate a pocket. You can either zigzag along the drawn loop or sew down cording or ribbon. All right, you're gonna add those tassels to the bottom and that part is finished. Top stitch the ribbon into place along the bottom ovals. Add a line between them if desired. Trim your threads. With a damp cloth, blot out any visible markings on your costume. And that's it, you just completed the best Aladdin costume DIY. If you have this great Aladdin vest, all you do is you just throw a cream shirt or a striped shirt underneath it, a green band around the waist, and you are good to go. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome videos just like this one. Hey, a special thanks to my husband for modeling this costume for me. It's not his favorite thing to do, but he did a great job. Also, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe because you know one, it makes me feel nice and warm and fuzzy inside and you don't wanna miss out on any of the free patterns that I offer here. Also, be sure to check out my website, fleecefun.com for more free patterns and tutorials like this one. So let me know in the comments below, did you like the new version of Aladdin or do you still prefer the old one? I gotta be honest, I, I like elements of both. But I have to be honest, you know, no one can replace Robin Williams. It's just true.